there is a person he was a criminal he was a criminal his name is Christopher Haven you can look him up later on if you wish Christopher Haven Christopher Haven unfortunately when he was a teenager chose the wrong path started hanging with people who were not the best of people the best of friends until until at the age of about 25 unfortunately he kills somebody so he gets caught for murder and he gets put into prison behind bars Christopher Haven then in the prison now because he is committed a murder so they put him in a solitary confinement you know individual cells by themselves in that area every day there was a police officer the guard the guard who looks after every day what he used to do is he would take a sheet of math you know math questions and he would slip it under the door of this prison cells of the prisoners every day he slips this Christopher Chris guy he would take the sheet and he would start answering the questions and he would wait for the next sheet the next morning until it became too easy for him so he turns to the guard and says this sheet now is too easy do you have something a bit more difficult more challenging so he found him something a little bit more challenging and he gave it to him he started giving him something a bit more challenging so he started doing it then that became easy he told him this is easy now give me something a bit more challenging he says that's all i know i mean i'm, I'm a prison guard i'm not a mathematician i don't know what else to give you he says is it okay if i order some books of math he said that's fine so chris calls his mother says mom can you buy me this book of math that deals with something his mother says when he told me what it is i had no clue i told him, wait wait i have to write this down so i started writing it down i went i bought the book and i gave it to him he started working with it dealing with it until he got a second book and a third book in the prison finally finally he started communicating with some professors of mathematics professors of mathematics one of them in italy one of the professors in italy responded to him and he started sending him the professor of mathematics started sending christopher some complicated math problems that they work on them in the university in the university some some complex problems they try to find solutions for and he would solve them and send them back to the professor so the professor when he looked at this he's like this is this guy knows what he's doing how about if i try giving him a real problem you know not just something that we've already solved something serious so he sends him a problem that mathematicians have been working or trying to solve for the past few decades and guess what long and behold Christopher solves the problem and sends it to the professor. The professor is shocked. So they publish the paper. They publish a paper. He publishes a paper from prison. And the life of Christopher transforms completely from being a criminal in the prison to now he is a mathematician who cracks different codes and formulas and publishes papers his mother interestingly said that he was always good in math she said i am not surprised to see him achieve this because he was always good for me he had an aptitude for math but you see how once he received his purpose his purpose was math solving mathematical problems it changed his life transformed his life so that gives people confidence, self-esteem, purpose, trying to work for something that is greater cause. These are some of the examples we can try to do in finding our purpose.